Hello, God bless from Up Ministries. It's me, Dick Jr. I am coming to you today to read you Ezekiel chapter 39. Uh, I prayed before I started this video and I asked God to help me to speak with you. I asked him for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and utterance as well. Um, but I suggest that you also pray anytime you place yourself in God's Word and that you ask Him for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding specifically. And He's going to give them to you. And I say that because He promises it. And I also say it because He does not want us to be in the dark concerning this Word or anything contained in here or His perfect plan of salvation. Okay? It's all written out. Okay? He wants us to understand it. It's not code. So, that being said, let's go ahead and get started here in uh, verse 39 of Ezekiel. Or, uh, sorry, chapter 39. <clears throat> and you, son of man, prophesy against Gog, and thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against you, O Gog, prince of Rush, Message, and Tubal. I will turn you around, drive you on, take you up from the remotest parts of the north, and bring you against the mountains of Israel. I will strike your bow from your left hand and dash down your arrows from your right hand. You will fall on the mountains of Israel you and all your troops and the peoples who are with you. I will give you as food to every kind of predatory bird and beast of the field. You will fall on the open field, for it is I who have spoken, declares the Lord God. And I will send fire upon Magog and those who inhabit the coastlands in safety, and they will know that I am the Lord. My holy name I will make known in the midst of my people Israel. I will not let my holy name be profaned any more, and the nations will know that I am the Lord, the Holy One in Israel. Behold, it is coming, and it shall be done, declares the Lord God. That is the day of which I have spoken. Then those who inhabited the cities of Israel will go out and make fires with the weapons and burn them, both shields and bucklers, bows and arrows, war clubs and spears, and for seven years they will make fires of them. They will not take wood from the field or gather firewood from the forests, for they will make fires with the weapons. And they will take the spoil of those who despoiled them and seize the plunder of those who plundered them, declares the Lord God. On that day I will give Gog a burial ground there in Israel, the valley of those who pass by east of the sea, and it will block off those who pass by. So they will bury Gog there with all his horde. And they will call it the Valley of Haman Gog. And Haman, uh, well, uh, in Hebrew, uh, it's, it's eluding me right now, but uh, it means uh, many or much or grand or great. You see what I mean? So it could also, the valley Hamon Gog could be the valley of many Gog. You see what I mean? So anyway, for seven months, the house of Israel will be burying them in order to cleanse the land. Even all the people of the land will bury them. And it will be to their renown on the day that I glorify myself, declares the Lord God. They will set apart men who will constantly pass through the land, burying those who were passing through even those left on the surface of the ground in order to cleanse it. At the end of seven months, they will make a search. As those who pass through the land pass through, and anyone sees a man's bone, then he will set up a marker by it until the barriers have buried it in the valley of Haman Gog. And even the name of the city will be Hamanah, so they will cleanse the land. As for you, son of man, thus says the Lord God, Speak to every kind of bird and to every kind of beast of the field. Assemble and come. Gather from every side to my sacrifice, which I am going to sacrifice for you, as a great sacrifice on the mountains of Israel, that you may eat flesh and drink blood. You will eat the flesh of mighty men and drink the blood of the princes of the earth, as though they were rams, lambs, goats, and bulls all of them fatlings of Bashan. So you will eat fat until you are glutted and drink blood until you are drunk from my sacrifice, which I have sacrificed for you. You will be gluted, glutted at my table with horses and charioteers, with mighty men and all the men of war, declares the Lord God. And I will set my glory among the nations and all the nations will see my judgment, which I have executed and my hand, which I have laid on them. 
and the house of Israel will know that I am the Lord their God from that day onward. The nations will know that the house of Israel went into exile for their iniquity, because they acted treacherously against me, and I hid my face from them. See, God didn't strike them down specifically. He just didn't help them when they needed it. Uh, so I gave them into the hand of their adversaries, and all of them fell by the sword. According to their uncleanliness and according to their transgressions, I dealt with them, and I hid my face from them. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Now I will restore the fortunes of Jacob and have mercy on the whole house of Israel. And I will be jealous for my holy name, and they will forget their disgrace and all their treachery which they perpetrated against me when they, when they lived securely on their own land with no one to make them afraid. When I bring them back from the peoples and gather them from the lands of their enemies, then I shall be sanctified through them in the sight of many nations. Then they will know that I am the Lord their God, because I made them go into exile among the nations and then gathered them again to their own land. I will leave none of them any there any longer. I will not hide my face from them any longer. For I will have poured out my spirit on the house of Israel, declares the Lord God. So, that is Ezekiel chapter 39. Thanks for listening. God bless.